What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am at our Duchess yard and in front of me here I have our aluminum trailer loaded up with three western plows. Last week my uncle came here and grabbed this trailer. He ran it down to our main shop because I haven't been down there in quite some time and he loaded three of these plows on it that we no longer need for the season. So we're starting to get our shop cleaned up and all of the plow stuff and all the winter equipment put away and ready for summer. Although we did get snow two days ago. So hopefully that was it for the rest of the year. I am ready for warmer weather, but he brought these plows up here. So I need to get this trailer unloaded today. Luckily we have our 914 and our 908 here. I'm probably going to use the 908. The 914 would definitely work. It's just a little big for this area here. The 908, you can sneak in a lot more places and I don't really feel like moving the 914 just to get these unloaded. So I'm gonna try and back the 908 in here, pull forward, I'll grab one off, pull it out. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put these plows yet. I might try and drop them right here actually and put them in a row here. It's kind of a mess here in our yard right now. We definitely need to get a day here and organize all of this, but let me start the 908 real quick then we'll get everything unstrapped i have chain in the back of my truck i need to grab and this should be pretty simple here i am alone so i'm gonna have to hop in and out of the machine to connect the chain i don't have a big hook so i can't try and just hook it while driving I have to get out, wrap it around, and hook it back to itself. But it should be no issue. There's only three Western plows. So hopefully this machine starts off. Let's see, it's been sitting here for quite some time. Oh, did I turn the power off out there? Interesting. I might have, I wasn't even paying attention, whoever parked it here it might have been the guys that transported it for us must not have hit the kill switch yep Let's see. it should start we never really have a problem with this one it was a little close to not starting but we're good i'm gonna let this warm up go get these plows unstrapped and then We'll get everything unloaded.
All right, guys, we got the three plows all unloaded and dropped right here. Shut this door, lock it real quick. Turn the disconnect on. But I left these plows right here because we're gonna have to come here one day and organize this yard. Plus these three plows most likely are gonna go in the garage over there up on shelves. We have racks in there and that's where we used to store them last year. So most likely we'll end up putting them back in there but we're gonna use the tool cat to move them. It's a lot easier to come underneath right in the middle and lift them with the forks than it is to move them with this. But being that they were on the trailer and there's wheel wells and stuff and I didn't wanna pull the trailer out, it was easier to grab them with the chain and just drop them here. But if the trailer wasn't right there and there wasn't wheel wells, I probably would've used a tool cat and just scooped them right off. But the reason I had to come here today to unload these and get this trailer empty is last week when we were at my brother's house getting his driveway prepped for blacktop we left the roller there and monday morning the blacktop guys are coming to pave his driveway so i need to go there tomorrow and grab the loader or the, the loader uh the roller and get the roller out of there that way there's nothing in his driveway besides the cars that they can move first thing in the morning so i got to get over there tomorrow i'll probably come back i don't know maybe first thing in the morning i'm not really sure yet but that'll be tomorrow's video i'm gonna have to grab chains and binders off of the freight liner which luckily is at my truck my wow i can't talk today the freight liner is luckily at my house so i can just grab them before i come here grab the trailer and then i'll run and get the roller out of there i was gonna recompact both driveways but we talked to the guy that's doing the blacktop he's bringing his roller he said he'll compact it again if it is necessary not to worry about it so i'm just gonna get it loaded on here i'll probably bring it back here and get it unloaded maybe i'll leave it on the trailer i'm not really sure i got to talk to my dad and see what his plan is with the roller and if we need it anywhere else because if we're gonna have to move it again there's no reason to unload it but i think that is gonna wrap it up if you guys have any questions or comments definitely leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys next time peace